What's going on YouTube? Today I am going to be doing a video review of the Wilson Combat Magazine, specifically the WC500 BCHD. These are the magazines. I bought three of them. Got them off of eBay. Uh, I think I got them for about 50 bucks a piece. And um, I love them. I think they're amazing magazines. I'm just going to kind of break down the features of the magazines and uh, also my complaints about them. I never seen a video on YouTube of these specific magazines, so I thought I'd do a video for you guys today. And as you can see, I'm sporting my majestic wolf t-shirt today that my brother bought for me from a gas station. American Sniper's in the background over there. If you haven't read it yet, you should because it's amazing. So uh, I'm running these out of my Colt, and I've already done a video on this. If you guys want to go watch that video, you can. I've done quite a few more upgrades on this thing. Then when I first originally did that video, I'm going to be going back and doing it again. As you can see, I've got new grips and I did a magwell on this and uh, quite a few other things. So I'm going to go through and do another one once I'm completely done with the gun. Uh, I've got one more job I'm going to do on it and then I'll do that video. So stay tuned for that. But today I'm going to be talking specifically about these magazines. Now, these magazines, these are the original magazines that came with my Colt, and uh, they're just the standard eight round, well, seven round standard, I guess, but these are the standard round, or standard eight rounders that came with my gun. Um, if you're interested, you can see there, if I can get that light to bounce just right. It says Colt 45 ACP on the bottom there, eight round. Um, this magazine is okay, I guess. Uh, it's got a metal follower. I don't mind them, but um, there's a thing, a couple things I had problems with. I got some grease on my finger there. Um, first of all, was the the window counters kind of bugged me. Um, I didn't like how I don't even know what the right word is for it. Just um, not difficult, but just time consuming. That I had to remember like that was eight, that was seven, that was six, five, four, three, two's not displayed, and then one's at the top. I don't know, I mean, maybe some people didn't find that that big of a problem, but that's the thing about these Wilson mags that I really, really like, is that it just tells you, it's kind of like an idiot's guide, and just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I like how the window is just straight down instead of the zigzag pattern, I just really like that for some reason. Um, and you can see on here, I'll just show you a quick close-up, so it says 45 ACP right there. And then it has the window counter on the other side as well. And on this side it says Wilson Combat. And on the base pad it says Wilson Combat. If I remember correctly, these are uh, steel base pads. Um, the Colt, uh, just like this little teeny insert. These are a little bit more extended as you can see. I'll put them right up next to each other. And the length difference between the two mags is quite a bit and not just because of the base pad. The base pad on this is pretty thin actually. Um, but the reason, one of the biggest reasons why I wanted these Wilson Combat mags is because they were slightly extended because when I had my Colt, and don't worry already safety check this, I got this um, magwell installed that which was also a Wilson Combat. The thing about these Colt mags is um, it would see up inside like that. You can see inside had like I, these are a good magazine for like taking on the range, but I don't carry these because I'd have to push my thumb up and in to actually get it to slap in. So like sometimes I'd slap it in. Like when it's um, empty like this, it's not that big of a deal. But when I take a magazine, see I could jams up like that, and then I'd have to push my finger and push it in. That always drove me crazy. So I got these, and these fall perfectly flush. Not perfectly flush, but just just a tad enough um, past the magazine well that allows me to just slap it in with my hand and um, know for a fact that it's it's in the weapon. And so, um, one other complaint. Uh, well, I only have two complaints about these magazines actually. Um, is uh, first of all the base pads on these. This one is good. Uh, I have one that's faulty. It's this one. Um, I'm thinking about emailing Wilson. I'm sure they'd be more than happy to help me out, but the only problem is with it is for some reason, um, you can see that hole there. That's basically what's holding the base pad in place. So the pressure from the spring that's inside of the magazine 
is keeping this little metal plate in place that actually has a little bump in it. It goes up and into this circle there, and that's what holds the base pad in place. But um, just on range days, days I've gone shooting, um, I'll drop the magazine and let it hit the ground, and the mag will it'll do that. The base pad will slide forward or even come off. I've never had it come all the way off. I've had it come very close, about like that, but I just kind of slap it back on. But it can... It, it sometimes stays on pretty well, but then sometimes it won't. These other two, they're solid. They're not, I'm really, really pushing. It's not going anywhere, but it's just, uh, just this one um, magazine. I think it just is a little faulty. When I first got it um, fresh out of the package, it had a problem and it wasn't, wasn't quite in there. And I kind of had to open it up myself and Jimmy rig it to get in there. But then after that, it was it was fine, but now every once in a while it'll still, just even a little pressure from my thumb like that is enough to push it off, and I shouldn't be doing that, especially seeing as how I have eight rounds loaded in there. And um, even when I drop the mag and it's completely empty at the range, like I said, it'll pop that forward, and so that's one complaint I have with it. The second complaint that I have with these magazines is I think, I believe it's the fifth round in the magazine, it rattles. So... I, it drives me crazy. I've got a couple freaking maracas carrying around in my pants. So even when it's in the gun, it still, it still rattles. And that drives me crazy. The, the one in my back pocket, I usually carry this in a small little, um, little holster type deal, a little mag pouch, there you go. And um, just going up and down stairs, I just hear that rattle. And uh, I hear the rattle when I have it in my, just my gun. When I have no spare mag, I just have my one in the gun. I can hear it rattling around, jumping up and down. And um, honestly, it, it's not incredibly annoying. It's just the fact that um, I feel like it kind of maybe deters, de deters from the um, element of surprise, I guess. So if you hear the maraca coming up behind you, I don't know. I just, I wish it didn't do that, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Uh, these Colt mags, they never had a problem with it, though. Um, and see, so yeah, that, that was just a metal follower. And I'll show you the, the follower on these uh, Wilsons. It's actually kind of a polymer, plastic. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's great. It's really smooth. It's, it feeds the rounds into the gun very nicely. Um, it's also a no-tilt follower on those Wilsons which is really nice. All right, so I've got this one loaded up. And nothing. It's solid. A little bit there, but, I mean, you have to really shake it that way. But, I mean, you shake those other Wilsons just about any which way you can, and it'll, it'll, it'll rattle around. So that is one thing that really bugs me about them. But other than the faulty base plate on that one particular magazine and, um, and the fact that the rounds rattle around, these magazines are amazing. Uh, and by the way, if you're thinking that it does that because it's an FMJ versus a hollow point, nope. Doesn't matter what kind of ammunition you're feeding into it, it's still gonna do it, I'm afraid. So uh, I'll show you that follower. So the follower on this, like I said, is just kind of a, a polymer really nice really sleek it's just it's really smooth they've really uh, really done a good job on this and like I said it's a no tilt mag which is great um, I believe that Wilson runs a flat wire spring inside of these I don't know if you can kind of spot that spring inside of there but I believe it's a flat wire don't quote me on that but I want to say it is and apparently that helps with uh, feeding the rounds into the gun. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not an expert on springs. I just know that these are nice, well quality, ma uh, well made quality mags. Um, then the steel, the steel on the guns, or the not the guns, the magazines is uh, it's really nice. It's really smooth. If you ever picked up a Wilson mag, you'll know what I'm talking about. I don't know what it is, but this is just so. This magazine is so util uh, utilitarian. It just is like a get the job done kind of a mag. This is like a work of art. It just feels so nice. Just so much care was put into making this magazine. It's just a really nice smooth metal. It just almost feels like it's been greased up by WD-40 or something. So every time I drop the mag, it's just smooth as silk dropping out of the gun. 
And these, uh, they drop out fine. I have no complaints with these mags except for the base plate and the windows, but um, I don't know, it's just the this nice plastic follower, the flat spring, the nice, I, I don't wanna say smooth metal or soft metal, but it, it kind of is soft, like you touch it and you almost think, wow, it's, it's really soft and silky. Uh, you'd have to handle it in your hands, uh, same magazines that I'm holding to kind of know what I'm talking about. Otherwise, I just sound like a crazy person, which I usually do anyway. Um, so that's basically my quick little review that turned out to be about 10 minutes long. I'm going to cut it down quite a bit before I put it up on YouTube for you guys. Um, I think they're fantastic magazines. I would highly recommend them. Um, if I had a use for more magazines, I would probably get more of these. They're really nice. Or try some of the other Wilson magazines out. Uh, I really wanted the black ones because uh, they match my gun, you know, all black. So I think uh, if you're looking into buying these magazines, I'd highly recommend them. Except for uh, if that rattling of that fourth or fifth round would bother you, then maybe try a different one and let me know how it goes. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, just voice them off in the comments section below. And like I said, I'm going to be doing a couple more reviews um, right now on a couple more of the uh, parts I've had installed on my gun. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys in the next one.